And this is the Obsessions, I'm Emma, and I'm here with Matthew Shepherd. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm very well, thank you. You okay? Yeah, good, thank you. I was saying before a fair, like every time we have an artist come in, I do a little bit of digging around online. Um, and one of the first things that I saw was that you've had a quote about your music from a legendary Janice Long. Yes. Yeah. Um, how did that come about? Because <laughs> she's amazing. Yes, yeah. Um, I played at a festival in Liverpool called Folk on the Dock. Oh, cool. Um, not this year, but last year, so yeah. 2017. Um, and uh, she was curating the main stage. Um, and I don't know how I got on the main stage, but somehow I did. Um, and she um, sort of introduced me to the stage and got to chat with her backstage and everything. So oh it was really, gosh. really cool. She's good. the sort of lady, I've only ever seen her on telly, I've never met her. But I kind of just want to give her a hug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's really so weird. lovely. She really yeah. is. So lovely. Um, yeah, absolute legend. So let's talk about you, not Janice Long. Um, <laughs> <laughs> talk to me about your musical journey. Like, how did it all come about? Um, and briefly, like, in terms of where you got to now. Okay. Um, so I picked up... Well, I bought my first guitar from Argos, I think, when I was around 14. Wow. It was again. like a real cheapy guitar, yeah. like £30 or something like that. Um, and I just learned a few chords. Um, Compared to what we've just seen from having you play live, that's quite contrasting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, I was a beginner, so, you know, just pick up anything and yeah, see if I could work out how how it goes. Um, and I was in choirs at school. Um, and then when I left sort of sixth form, in 2013, I got a job as a waiter in Common Garden. Um, and uh, I started off sort of gigging um, and, uh, you know, just getting open mic slots and um, sort of starting to write songs. And from there, I've just sort of gone on from there, really. And suddenly I'm sort of here today. So. And um, at what point did you kind of think, OK, this is really something I want to put my all into and take it forward? Was there like a light bulb moment? Um... Sort of, I mean, I always knew that I wanted to go out gigging and write my own songs. Um, like, I think I went to my first sort of gig when I was, yeah, around sort of 15. Um, and I was sort of standing there looking at the band on stage thinking I'd love to be able to do that. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's not my full-time thing. I, I still work Monday to Friday. Um, but, I mean, music is what I'd love to do. Yeah. Um, but it means that I can sort of, you know keep it as a hobby but it still means I can enjoy the play, the things that I do and, yeah. um, and I just love writing and as long as I keep enjoying it then I'll still keep yeah. doing it so yeah cool awesome and what about um, your songwriting process so mm -hmm. um, I mean your songs sound incredible um, and because of the tone that they are um, I can't help but wonder that they're all quite heartfelt um, is that based on personal experience where do you get the inspiration to write such heartfelt music um yeah, I suppose personal experiences. Um, I mean, I kind of feel like I have to understand what I'm writing about rather than just making something up. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of think of it almost like therapy. So it's almost like having like a diary. Yeah. You sort of like, if you want to get through something or you just want to get something off your chest, I just pick up my guitar, put it into a song, um, and then I record it and put it on iTunes or <laughs> something like that. Um, make it sound so simple. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just really weird. It just like, it just happens. Like It's not necessarily like a strict sort of writing lyrics, then writing the music. I, it just sort of all comes together at the same time. Is it weird then? Because often you're writing personal stuff down and then it becomes a song. Then when it gets airplay or broadcast or whatever, you kind of feel almost like your personal secrets are being let out. Yeah, but I kind of keep it a bit vague as well. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to give it all away. <laughs> <laughs> right <on. laughs> um, so, you know, I, I try to keep it heartfelt. And I mean, I love sort of really intimate songwriting um, and sort of, I mean, if I can play a song and someone will relate to it in the same way or even, you know, relate to something differently through the song, then I kind of feel like I'm doing my job right. My heart, it can break with the touch of your hand It can't win with this delicate heart of mine Well, I hear the moon and the roar of the tide I can't wait till you're home and you're right on my inside Because I'll love forever If you say you'll be mine, I won't ask if you 
If you say you'll be mine, just say you'll stay with me forever And for of all time, because our love forever With the Stella cut off My heart, it's been waiting to find its home It's been waiting up at night, but there's no one in Well, these words, they got me going again and again, again and again The lights are wrong, but it's still raining Because I love forever If you say you'll be mine, I won't ask you if you say you'll be mine, just say you'll stay with me forever For of all time, because I love forever With the Stella Cut Heart With the Stella Cut Heart Because I love forever If you say you'll be mine, I won't ask of you again If you say you'll be mine, just say you'll stay with me forever and For of all time, because I love forever With the Stella Cut Heart Della Cut Heart Della Cut Heart The Alpha Sessions. You've recently released your second album. Yes, yeah. Which is an amazing achievement, so congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Um, what was it called? Uh, it's called Waiting Up at Night. Amazing, and how long was that in progress for? Um, it was about a, year, honest, it's cool. about a year and a half, I think. <laughs> okay. um, I mean, I work as a barrister's clerk in London near the law courts. So wow, I wasn't expecting you to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I kind of, it's quite a stressful job. So I was recording sort of, on and off weekends for about a year wow. and then mastering and mixing um, but I mean it's a studio really close to home um, so it was very convenient just sort of jumping off the tube from work going in and doing like a two hour session and then coming home and coming back to it so and were there tracks that you wrote specifically for the album or did you kind of have a back catalogue and you, you put them all together like what was the process I kind of had around sort of six songs that I knew I wanted to put into an album mm -hmm. um, and then over the course of the year I was writing, I wrote, yeah, I wrote another four that I thought could complement the album well. Okay. Um, but I mean, it's all sort of stripped back, it's all acoustics, all my own songs. Um, Nighttime has a sort of theme running to it. Um, but again, they're all heartfelt and um, yeah, I really like it. So I hope everyone else does as well. Yeah. Um, I listened to a bit of it online um, and it sounds amazing. Oh, um, and you. I said this before, like your music sounds a bit like when you watch a really dramatic um, program and there's like this reuniting of a couple on the beach <laughs> that's been ages. <laughs> um, I should do I'm music, happy music to video be, then. Absolutely. I'm, just like, yeah. I'm happy to be like an advocate <laughs> yeah. for any sort of film score. If you need a recommendation, <laughs> I'll be there. Um, <laughs> so are you going to be releasing some singles from it? Or? Uh, yeah, I, um, I did a couple of live sessions um, in a church close to home. Um, so I'm releasing them releasing another one uh, in about a month's time. Amazing. Um, so that's for a song called Shouldn't Be This Hard. So that's the new sort of single from it at the moment. So okay. I'm trying to push that. Okay. Um, but I'm still writing. I can't wait to go back into the studio again and get some more stuff out there. So, so good. So good. How do you make time for everything? Well, wow, I just really don't watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. So you won't see the track come into an amazing programme. I think I tune in on that day, okay. I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've recorded it or something like that. Um, and also you had an album launch. Yes. Um, yeah. What was that like? Do you still get nervous before gigs? Because you've done loads. Yeah, I, mean, I kind of feel... I always get a little bit nervous. I'd be worried if I didn't get nervous. I kind of feel you need a, you need a few nerves to sort of 
give you a bit of an adrenaline yep. um, on stage. Get that um, but yeah, my, my album launch, I was more nervous than usual because I had a lot of friends and family there. Okay. Whereas normally you're at a gig and not many people know you and it's fine, you can just sort of block it out. Um, but I organised it in a barn close to home and it, I mean, it was only about sort of 50 people, but it was oh, wow. crammed and, you know, there was fairy lights and it was all low beams and stuff. Um, yeah, it was perfect. And a good friend of mine, Rebecca Raw, um, she opened the night, who's a singer-songwriter and uh, we did a little collab in my set she plays hey, cello cool. and yeah wonderful night it was really good nice um and you've been gigging loads over the summer yes like really cramming them in um, <laughs> <laughs> do you have any highlights obviously apart from the album launch because i imagine that was a massive one um yeah the album launch uh, was a big highlight um i was well, saying before i love playing at a place called the harrison in, in king's cross um you know i love the intimate venues um where you sort of see like like some gigs you sort of get there and it's like one row and then darkness but a lot of the gigs that I do you can sort of see everyone and do you it's find that really... more nerve wracking because you can see um, everyone's faces yeah sometimes yeah sometimes but I sort of got used to it now where yeah. and I love chatting in between songs I like telling people the stories behind my music as well so yeah it kind of helps I think it gets the best musician out of me I think I hope anyway do you have any like pre-gig rituals that you have to do before you go on stage? I drink a lot of water. Okay. Um, and yeah, I get. Seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In your radio I'm running out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a. Uh, yeah, I get itchy feet as well. Oh really? Sometimes, which like, is a really, really weird thing. Yeah. So if you see me before stage and I'm like sort of scratching my foot on the floor, then you know what I'm doing. So. <laughs> Do you reckon that's like a nerve thing? Possibly. Because I didn't yeah. notice it when you did the session. Yeah, this is fine. You made me feel very welcome, so it's I didn't good, get very nervous. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you're at your like wits end with nerves when you really have itchy feet. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean you have I to take know. your shoes off at gigs? Um, I've never done it before. Maybe that's something I should do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I if we come and see you live and the shoes are off, I'll be like, that then you know, you know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got six weeks to make up mine I've only got six weeks but I'm gonna try And I know, I know, I know I've only got six weeks to make up mine She works all week and she never stays out late Better save my heart for another sunny day And I know, I know, I know I've only got six weeks to change a mind Well you and me were made not to care what others say the clouds were threatening rain, but the sun came out again. The days were getting long, but I swear they're getting short. When all I'm thinking about is you. I've only got six weeks to make up mine. I've only got six weeks, but I'm gonna try. And I know, I know, I know. I've only got six weeks to change her mind You said your hope was mine if I could wait a little longer So I wrote a dozen summer songs and all were written for you And the sun was getting harder but all I'm still thinking about is you yeah. I've only got six weeks to make her mind I've only got six weeks, but I'm gonna try And I know, I know, I know I've only got six weeks to make a man The Alpha Sessions what about like, inspiration and influences? Where do you think that comes from? Um, I mean, in terms of sort of artists that I listen to, mm -hmm. influences, um, 
I sort of grow up with lots of music going on in the house. I mean, my dad's a big mm. music fan. He used to do like pirate radio with his friends. Oh, really? Um, so there was always music going on in the house, like uh, The Calls, um, David Gray, I'm a big fan of. Okay. Um, and I really like a guy called Joshua Radin. Yes. <sighs> Thank you. I was I always <laughs> say Joshua Radin, and no one has heard of him. Absolutely. So this is like such a good moment. Yeah. 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 Um, so he's one of my favourites. Um, oh, cool. Again, trying to like make songs really personal. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, John Mayer, yeah. Bob Dylan, Joni Mitchell. Oh, I could go on forever, to be honest. You can keep going as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> do they ever kind of when you listen to that do you ever think oh I really want to cover that um, or do you press your own music yeah I always I have a I have a kind of like hobby of taking a song and trying to make it my own yeah. but especially songs like you wouldn't think you should do like I recently done a cover of um, I Want to Dance with Somebody by Whitney Houston oh they're the best coin though I love um, doing that and um, yeah so I love sort of yeah I really enjoy sort of making songs my own and is that you don't spin on it. It is online, yeah. Oh, I need to find that. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds amazing. Um, and also, obviously, like you're very independent. You do this on your own, and um, like you're really awesome at promoting yourself in terms of like making sure your Twitter's up to date oh, and you. getting in the local papers and all that kind of stuff. Um, how do you? I mean, we touched on it briefly, but how do you make time for everything? And how do you like have the focus and determination to? keep all of that up to date all the time particularly if you're a barrister's club wow <laughs> it sounds much more interesting than it is barrister's club it's, it just it's, sounds it's, really yeah. salon, <laughs> to be honest um, yeah I mean I really enjoy the sort of promoting side of it okay. um, mm. I love like emailing out to sort of um, local papers and you know music venues and getting gigs and, yeah. Um, yeah I don't really see it as a chore really um, I really enjoy it yeah and yeah, I'm starting to get used to social media at first. I was awful at it. Like I would like, post an Instagram story of just like a black screen, like nothing there. <laughs> um, but I'm getting there now. It's um, all right. I tried to post um, yesterday a picture of a coffee cup and then someone had to tell me that it was highly Instagram of the year, so I should take it down. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I kind of sort of keep up to date with all the new stuff. Um, I've had Instagram for like a year and a half, so okay. I'm like in love with that now. Great. Um, so yeah, just trying to keep it up to date and yeah. Cool. And um, for anyone that's sort of coming into music now, obviously you've done it for a little while now. Um, do you have any tips in terms of like how to get your music out there? Um, I think just sort of not giving up really. Yeah. Um, and sort of not being afraid to start at the bottom. Like when I first started to get gigs. I almost like certainly wanted to go like straight to like Glastonbury. I yeah, want to yeah. play there, sort of thing. You have the urge to like, you kind of think you're ready to play really big venues and stuff. Yeah. But I learned so much more by doing open mics and then moving on to like standard sort of regular nights and getting into festivals that way. Um, and rejection is kind of sometimes a good thing. I think yeah. like I. I don't know if you know a venue called the Big Comfy Bookshop. No, I don't, but that sounds oh, awesome. Oh, you should. It's amazing. It's in Coventry. Yeah. And um, I applied there about th three years ago um, and emailed back and said, oh, wow, I've got so many people um, like on the roster at the moment. And yeah. I kind of feel like you need to get a bit more experience. So I took his advice yeah. and then kept, his, kept the email that he sent to me. And then I sort of forwarded it on to him like a year and a half ago and said, oh, hi, I've sort of got better <laughs> can <laughs> I can I have a gig um, oh, and he gave me a gig um, and it was been still one of the best gigs I've ever done um, so um, yeah just not giving up really yeah. and believing in yourself I'm so far away my hands are cold and no one it's like to be this late A midnight in Covent Garden And I've been longing for something new Something closer to you Well I'll be coming home tonight So keep the light on And I'm still outside So keep the light on I hope I'll get the time to say Well I'm away from this place well, I'll be coming home tonight You know that I've missed you Well, I've been walking up and down The same street 
streets off Long Acre and there's no one around Except the buskers on the churchyard steps But I can't hear a sound When I'm wishing you're with me now Well I'll be coming home tonight So keep the light on And I'm still outside So keep the light on I hope I'll get the time to say away from this place well, I'll be coming home tonight You know that I have missed you Coming home Home Coming home Home Coming home tonight, so keep the light on, and I'm still outside. So keep the light on. I hope I'll get the time to say when I'm away from this place. Well, I'll be coming home. The Alpha Sessions. In terms of, like, we spoke about this briefly, about how the dream is often to kind of want to go straight for Glastonbury. But if you could do your dream gig anywhere, it could be Glastonbury. <laughs> Where would it be? Well, I mean, I wouldn't turn down Glastonbury. Fair enough. Um, but the Union Chapel is my favourite yeah, venue in brilliant. the world. Um, I think if I ever get to play there, I kind of know that I'm sort of satisfied. Yeah. Like, I, I don't need to play anywhere else if I've played at Union Chapel then that's my dream it's the sort of place um, that would make you nervous though I get nervous as itchy an feet would member, be let alone yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the stage <laughs> um, yeah um, but I just love performing um, like if I could play every night of the week to a room full of people and they enjoy it then yeah I'm very happy so no shoes at the Union Chapel yeah I'll probably go shoeless at the Union Chapel yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, and if you could do a dream collaboration with an artist, who would that be? It could be anyone. Oh. Um, Blank slate. Joshua Radin, I think, because okay. he's like my all time idol. Um, sorry, I wasn't, wasn't prepared for this one. Um, <laughs> it is a bit of I a never, I never sort of thought about this one. Um, I think John Mayer as well. Joshua okay. Radin and John Mayer. No. Oh, and Damien Rice. Ooh. It kind of needs to be like a whole concert, I think. And this is another silly one. Um, if you could, before this Dream Collab gig, have any kind of rider, I mean, I, I imagine with John Mayer and jo Joshua Radin, the riders would already be there, but you could have anything you wanted pre-gig. Um, what would you choose? What do you mean? Like, like a pre-gig rider. So, you know, like, you get all the silly ones, like, I don't know, I want a packet of M&Ms, but I only okay. want the red ones, that kind of thing. Um... <laughs> I don't really have many sort of like demands, really. Um, <laughs> like we well, were saying before, like if a gig has fairy lights up and bunting, then I'm pretty. You want to go? I'm pretty. Yeah, they, right. it gets me in the mood for like, yeah, getting good music out there. Okay. So yeah, and good coffee as well. I'm a really big coffee fan. Um, you should have brought fairy lights into the studio for the yeah, session. That would have been okay. cool. It's all right. Next time, <laughs> we ain't now. I'll forgive you. It's all right. <laughs> Awesome. So coming up next, you've got um, some singles that are going to be released. Mm -hmm. um, when can we get hold of them, for want of a better word? Um, well, they're out at the moment, so you yeah. can get my new album. It's I mean. on iTunes, Spotify. Um, you can get it in hard copy um, from my website. Um, and you can, it's on YouTube. The new sessions, one of the new sessions on YouTube at the moment, and another one is coming out in December. Um and I'm getting some mugs done as well. Ooh. So to rival this one, it won't be as good as this one. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you can get that on the line shop as well. 
Cool. Um, and if people want to go away and find out more about you, where can they go? What can they do? Uh, best place is www.matthewshepherdmusic.com. And it's Matthew with two T's? Yep, and a shepherd with a H E R D. There you go. Yeah, so many people get it wrong. But you, see, you, think, you guys got it right. Just so. think shepherd like herding the sheep. Yeah, it's the only way to spell shepherd. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have I spelled it right? Yes. You have done. Forget, forget. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. I've been um, looking forward to this for like ages. So yeah, thank you. Amazing. Um, and yeah, it's been great having you on board. Oh, the you. Alpha Session ship. I think we should make it a ship. This is a thing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm no April fool, but I know I'm getting close And I know I've got nothing, but with you I've got it all And whatever comes is gonna come it's gonna go my way, I know You have found the one What's a night? It feels like I'm getting close No longer feels like I'm going alone I always knew that I would find you I always knew you were holding on I never thought it would feel so right Inside But now I think I know tonight I'm falling with you and Girl, tell me I'm dreaming Or tell me I'm dreaming with you these feelings that I'm feeling or tell me you're feeling them too and whatever comes is gonna come it's gonna go my way I know you I found the one what's well, tonight it feels like I'm getting close no longer feels like I'm going alone I always knew that I would find you I always knew you were holding on I never thought it would feel so right Inside But now I think I know Tonight I'm falling with you Down the when I'm with you, girl, oh, we'll be found. Let us shine this light, let it burn all night. Keep the fire alive, let me know it's you and me tonight. Oh, oh, it feels like I'm getting close. No longer feels like I'm going alone. I always knew that I, I would find you, I always knew you were holding on. I never thought it would feel so right. But now I think I know tonight But now I think I know tonight I'm full